Hi, I'm Hazel, and this is a guide to the Rastakhan raid boss in Battle of Dazar lore on Normal and Heroic difficulty. This is the final Alliance story encounter, and also a big plot point. Spoiler alert. He's got four phases, and the dungeon journal is honestly a mess for this one. There's stuff in the tips that's not in the abilities, there's mystery ad models in the model section, it's hard to say what we're gonna get. I'm gonna do my best to cover everything that could happen, and then we'll see. In phase one, you fight Rastakhan along with the ads he starts with. Bind souls means he shares a health pool with them, so cleave and dot classes are going to look pretty good. You can tank Rastakhan on top of his adds to cleave, or tank him separately to gain some space from his mechanics. Both ways can work, so if one setup is wiping you, try it the other way. Rastakhan channels Scorching Detonation on his tank, and this happens for the whole fight. After 5 seconds, it'll explode for raid-wide damage which is reduced based on how far the tank managed to get away from Rastakhan. When it starts, the tank should turn around and book it in the opposite direction. He's also got Plague of Toads. He'll fire out three hopping toads in a cone formation. If they touch you, they explode and apply a dot within five yards, so get out of their way unless you have an immunity to soak them with. On Heroic, they leave behind pools, which despawn after a bit, so just don't trip on them. Prelate Zalon has Seal of Purification, which is a laser that'll chase random players. If you get it, just kite it around and don't run it through your friends. Siegebreaker Roka has Meteor Leap, where he jumps on a player and splits a big chunk of damage between everyone in the 8-yard ring. Anyone that can should get into the ring to help soak the Meteor and save your friend. He's also got Crushing Leap for his tank. That is a big hit with a stacking debuff that makes the next one hit you 5 times harder. Seems like a good spot for a tank spot. On Hurricane Hire, you also get Headhunter Galwana, who has Grievous Axe. He'll slap a few people with that, and it's a pretty heavy bleed. Healers should top the targets above 90% health to take it off, otherwise it doesn't end. You can cleave the adds down together in this phase, but Roka is definitely the toughest one, so maybe cleave off of him. The other heroic upgrade is Rastakhan's Greater Serpent Totem. It'll point at someone nearby and spray some cone fire at them. Dodge the flame if these end up near you, but if Rastakhan's being tanked out in the wilderness, these may only affect his tank. Once the adds are all dead, Wamsamdi shows up and Phase 2 starts. Rastakhan keeps up his Scorching Detonation and Toads and gets a few new tricks. Plague of Fire puts a big ring on a few range that explodes and spreads itself after 2 seconds, or a second and a half on heroic. That's too fast to really get out of, so you want to stay pre-spread at least 7 yards apart. Zombie Dust Totem will pop up and mind control two players. Kill the totem and CC the targets if needed. Meanwhile, Bwamsamdi's here, and one of the tanks needs to take him. His unliving means he won't take a lick of damage in this phase, so don't bother. He's got an aura of death that stacks up the deathly withering dot on all enemies within 30 yards of him. Tank him at least 30 yards away from the raid, and the tanks can swap whenever the withering stacks get rough. His caress of death hits his tank pretty hard and prevents all healing for 3 seconds. Use your mitigation and try to top up before this comes in. The only Wamsamdi thing for non-tanks to mind in this phase is Death's Door. A random target will take damage over time and then drop a Death Rift when it expires. You'll need those in the next phase. My best guess is to spread them more or less just around, but try to keep them out of melee. When Rastakhan reaches 60% health, we move into Phase 3. Rastakhan gets Wamsamdi's Boon, which starts stacking up a damage buff on him. Wamsamdi will then peace out to the Death Realm and take the closest half of the raid with him. The Death Realm is just a phased version of the same room. The Death Rifts that you've been dropping are portals between the two realms. Down below in Purple Land, the goal is to damage Bombsomdi to half health as quick as you can in order to end the phase. Meanwhile, he'll be spamming Caress of Death. Both tanks will want to stay up top, so this'll just ping everyone else down here and the healers that you sent down can just deal. He gets a new move called Inevitable End, which pulls everyone in his phase towards a death zone around him. If he sucks you into that, you die. Shocking, so fight against the pull. Dread Reaping spawns these little wandering pools, which you'll need to dodge and keep dodging. If those wander into a rift, they'll pass through to the life realm up top for those guys to dodge. On Heroic and Hire, Bwamsamdi keeps his Aura of Death in Phase 3 and will be stacking up the Withering Dot on everyone within 30 yards. You can clear your stacks by popping through a Death Port, but doing that triggers a small burst of raid-wide damage. You can clear your stacks, just stagger them out a little. Don't everyone go at once. Up top with Rastakhan, you'll keep getting Scorching Detonation, Zombie Dust Totem, and Death Doors. Plague of Fire is listed too, but it's a little unclear as to whether that'll be up top or down below. It says Rastakhan, but it's listed under Bwamsamdi, so we'll see. It's probably up top. New to up top are some fresh adds. The Phantom of Retribution spams Grave Bolt at her tank, which can be interrupted, and you may as well since there's nothing else to kick. She also tosses out Seal of Wamsamdi rings onto the floor. The seals are a soak mechanic, and one person per ring needs to soak them. If you miss a soak, surprise, raid damage! The Phantom of Rage has Necrotic Smash, which is a 10-yard ground pound. That cuts the healing you take in half for 8 seconds if it gets you. Only the tank should be in that, and you'll probably want to swap tanks after it goes out. Both of these adds also have Undying Relentlessness, which makes them immune to CC after 60 seconds. That implies that you can CC them for up to 60 seconds, in which case lock down one add while you work on the other one and wait for the Death Realm team to get back and help. On Hurricane Hire, there is one more add called the Phantom of Slaughter. That one channels Focus Demise, which is damage over 5 seconds that can only be kicked by its target. 
kick it if it's on you, or just heal through it if you can't. This one's got Undying Relentlessness too, so you might be able to CC it or use CC to kick it during that first minute that it's up. When the downstairs team gets Bombsomni to half health, he'll ditch the fight completely, everyone gets moved back up top, and the final phase begins. If there are any leftover adds, clean those up right away so you can focus on the boss. Mechanics that continue include Scorching Detonation, Toads, Plague of Fire, the Death Rifts, and Rostakon has learned how to inevitable end. He also gets all-encompassing death, which sounds like it spawns death rifts in melee. The wander puddles have been spitting out of those things since phase 3, which is going to make melee really messy. As long as the new rifts don't stick with him, I say keep the boss moving to avoid being overwhelmed. He's been getting Bwamsamdi's boon damage stacks this entire time, so this is when you pop anything you have left and try to finish the fight. There is one more mechanic that is only listed in the tips section of the dungeon journal. There's some kind of voodoo doll that attaches to a nearby player and copies the damage it takes onto them. The idea seems to be to kill off the dolls, just keep heals up on their target to avoid them getting smoked by the copy damage. Also, don't go too fast. Last thing is there is a model listed in the dungeon journal for Rastari Honor Guard. No idea what that is, but if it's in the fight, you probably want to kill it. I'm just a font of great advice, I know, you're welcome. And that is Rastakhan in the Battle of Dazar lore. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you out, please consider leaving me a like, check out my channel for more raid guides and other WoW stuff, and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye!